absolutely stunning. Many thanks Mrs H. Welcome to the Wednesday midweek shave. That time again, how are you doing? In yourselves? Okay I hope. And your family and friends and everything. Um, okay, what are we going to use? In the comments, uh, YouTube Shaver HD Shaves, I think, yeah. You asked, I think you've asked a few times, haven't you? Could I use the Gem Micromatic? So I'm going to use this. And that is a 1930s Gem Micromatic uh, Gold Bullet, they call it. Um, it's a SE, single edged. As you can see there, I'm not going to use them blades. Um, keep them in there. I'm going to use a gem blade out of this little thing here. So you just push like so and pull one out. Dispenser thing. So there's the gem blade. It does say on it, does it? Yeah, gem. Brand new. Twist to open. And it says in there that we can see uh, Gem Micromatic uh, made in the USA. Look at the good quality, isn't it? 1930s, this. So you place that in there. As you can see, and then we we'll close it up. There you go. We're ready to go. Now, soap, I love this stuff. I'm going to use this Colgate shaving mug soap. Um, the Palm Olive and Colgate, or Colgate Palm Olive Co. Yeah, as it states on that soap there, if you can see. Um, and I'm going to use my hand as a lather bowl because it's an adjustable lather bowl just to gather off the wet brush and enough to shave and go back to it if we need to. And when I finished with this, by the way, on any soap, I rinse it and I leave it on the sink in that position and leave it till the next day and it's nice and dry as it is now, just make sure the underneath's okay. And once it's all dry, back in the box and it keeps. It doesn't crack or anything. I've never had any bother. Um, so that's the razor and blade. Brush is going to be the It's a Simog 2030B bore brush. I love this little brush. That's been soaking in the in the water, the hot water, or warm water. So I'm just going to wet the face, but we'll create the lather first. I think it'll be better. Um, so it's a not a soak wet brush, but it's these old soaps. And the scent is a basic scent, you know, they just to do the job, when they? But I love using them. So I just want to gather enough on the tips. We can always go back to it. That's enough for now. So I just wet the face. That is hot. Well. Thank you to Rob Phillips, London, for this uh, shirt. Log off, shut down, and go outside. <laughs> right, I still wear it. So here we go. I've gone with my hair trimmer, taking all the, the um, adjustments off the grades, and I've just just trimmed the side of the whiskers, just the odd stray one. But otherwise, I'm not going to shave it. It's November, so uh, it's a non-shaving month, obviously, in awareness. Very mild scent. It's a nice scent. It's a, it's a basic scent, but a nice basic scent. It's a vintage scent, if that makes sense. I 
And one thing I find with these these type of razors and blades, they're, they're solid, they're like a double-edged razor blade. You'll see that uh, it has give. Um, and even though you can't see it in the razor, there is a slight sort of give when it's going over different whiskers and stuff like that, different great uh, areas. But there's no give in these, they're solid. So they feel different, uh, but they wear the, you know, the, the early versions of razors, weren't they? So we'll heat it up. You'll have warm, aren't you? And there we go. So the Gem Micromatic Gold Bullet. Something I didn't realise, and I've not done really myself, is it states on the on one of them blades there, when I was looking at them, they like you to hold this as flat to the skin as you can. Um, and I was watching one of your videos in HD Shaves, and you mentioned that circle on the head there and that purpose is to tell you to shave flat or something but I have not, no idea how it tells you that but wow yeah First pass successful. Wow, them whiskers coming out. Um, doesn't clog, keeps nice and clean. So that's the first pass. So how's it going then? How's the week going for you? Have you had any new gear, new stuff, soaps, brushes, blades, razors? <laughs> Are you waiting for them? Although Christmas is coming now, maybe uh, uh, holding back for presents now, isn't it? Um, I'm going to go back to the pack, just a bit of water. And then, a bit of water again. Absolutely love using soaps like this. So what's the shave of the day? Anything special or you're just uh, winging it because there's a working in the work, working week. So here we go, Cross the Growth, Gem Blade, brand new. Gotta be honest, um, these type of razors, as I say, is a stiff blade, there's no give, it, it can feel quite rough if you're used to double-edged shaving with the blades, and you come to one of these, you think, ooh, it's a bit, but it's an old razor, you know, but since this here, like this, shaving, feels much better. So it's not the razor, it was a... Uh, me not doing it right. 
and I wouldn't have known that only for reading on there and um, I noticed uh, Um, HD shaves, you mentioned it in your shaves because you use them a lot, I think. You love these, don't you? Look at this, I've caught there already. Double chins. Have you managed to buy one yet? <laughs> I don't need to buy one, I'm growing, I'm on my third, me. <laughs> Too many beers and steak and... <laughs> Very slick soap, very simple but very slick and very effective, I love it. Love the box, anything like that. Right, clean hands. Um, maybe not, we'll try without going back to the pack. Just a spot of water. Yeah, so you'd be better in a bowl, really. Creating the lather would last longer, but... Um, I didn't want it rolling round in the in the um, scuttle. So I thought I'd use the automatic adjustment lather, uh, soap holder. <laughs> That's good enough. If I came to the growth. Razor's nice and clean. Good grip. Smart, isn't it? Very Art Deco. Nice in the gold as well. So here we go, gains the growth. I often think, uh, I don't know if you're the same, if you have any vintage razors like this, I often think of their story, uh, if they could talk. Well, you can go very precise, but that's the only issue I've had. There, didn't feel it. Unless I've reopened it. Did I do that last time? I can't remember. I found this year with everything that's happened and you know it's just a mad year isn't it for everybody the whole world I just found it's gone <sighs> just gone um, it's amazing how quick you can be very precise with it that's lovely so we'll see how the old gem does on the old, uh, on the old three, two, one. Pick 
Wake up time, baby! That meant <laughs> pick up <laughs> and somebody pointed that out in a in a previous video. <laughs> pick up time shaving, but pick up time means many things. <laughs> in uh, different ways, pick up time. Not very wet, but as you can see it's a just enough. Keep us out of trouble. And I am quite skimpy with that soap because that's the only one I've got like that. So I don't know. I'm gonna waste it. Very gently. Beautiful. Cold water rinse. Welsh water. Somebody asked in the comments, where can I buy some Welsh water? I'll send you some. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Spiffing, as they say. Hmm? Oh. Spiffing. A lovely feeling. So that's that, and now I'm going to use some homemade tea tree and witch hazel. Give it a shake. And uh, a few people, you good people, have said that you make your own now, and uh, you've been enjoying it. Save a lot of money because it's cheaper to buy. You know, in bottles of this standard witch hazel, and then do the do your own little bottles. Then and it always keeps better in glass, doesn't it? You can use glass forever. Now, <laughs> uh, being said, it's a Colgate soap and all that sort of stuff. I thought I'd use one of the classics, of the aftershave, not the genuine Shulton, but it's the the. Uh, what we can get today, the modern one. Um, it says here, this is made by Procter & Gamble, uh, UK. Sorry, it's made, it's made in Germany for Procter & Gamble, UK, in uh, Surrey. It's not the genuine. But it, ooh, that's stung. Oh, nice, I'll have a bit more of that. Now I know someone would love that, he used to wear it. <laughs> Bathroom as a kid would either stink of brute, Old Spice, Blue Stratos, Denim, um, and a few other things. L'Oreal, the birch sap, uh, hydrosensitive. Oh, just a quick one today then. Um, I've just bought another one of these from Home Bargains in the UK. They had them there for sale. 
in my local one. I think they were £1.50. So I bought another one. Mm. So I bought another one. Now you probably don't have to use beard lotion after using a aftershave bar. But uh, I've been using this EAD beard lotion. Can't remember where I've got it. Probably home bargains or something like that. Um, but using it, I've had no itchiness, no problems at all. People call me Rafa. <laughs> in work, you know, in people I uh, deliver to and things like that. A few people say, oh, you want to keep it? Keep it, suits you. Well, thank you very much. But I'm only doing it for, uh, for the, you know, for the cause, shall we say? Look, I've done it again. A couple of... Not bad, though. So, quickly, I know you've got things to do. We've used the Gem Micromatic. Uh, this is the Gold Bullet 1930 single edge razor twist to open with a brand new uh, Gem blade, um, which was in this uh, dispenser. Um, Colgate Shaving Mug Soap. Absolutely stunning. Very basic. Works. Slickness is great. Um, you can lather it really well. I didn't. Because uh, I want to use it sparingly. Look at this. Um, but it's um, fantastic. Good slickness. Works well. And a very basic scent. But a nice scent. We've used the Samog 2030B ball brush. Absolutely love this thing. Only small. Very, very stiff knot when it's dry. And you might think, oh, that's a bit hard. Good on hard soaps. But once it's wet, it's nice and soft. Look at that. Nice and soft on the skin. It's really nice. Um, we then rinsed with cold Welsh water, some homemade tea tree and uh, witch hazel. And then we went to the classic, which I can smell now, it's beautiful. The Old Spice, it's not the genuine one, but it's good enough for a working week. And then we put some L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive with birch sap, zero alcohol in that. And some beard lotion on this goatee, Van Dyke, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to leave the, I'm not going to put anything on these. Just leave them to dry up. A couple of nicaroonies there. Many thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Nice to have your company and the chat. Thanks for the comments. Uh, um, I read them all, whether I get back to them or not. I really appreciate them. Uh, a lot of them make me laugh. <laughs> it's great. A good community of people. You're fantastic. So all the best to you. Have a great rest of the week. Stay safe. Have some great shaves and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.